singing it for the next nine weeks. <laughs> Unless we find something different, we just will start each Sunday this summer with God's chocolate world. <laughs> ah, let's see what's happening. The mission trip is leaving today, right after worship. Is that yes. correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the Butler County Food Distribution. Evidently, no one's going from St. John's this week, so we don't have to worry about it. All right. Uh, vacation Bible School is coming up. If you volunteered to help, or if you haven't volunteered to help, please do so. <laughs> um, You're going to say more about that? What? Oh. Let, yeah. Sue him. <laughs> There's a sign-up sheet in the back, and uh, it's for large items, big things that we need. Um, if you could just, if you can donate anything, I would appreciate it. Um, so the sign-up sheet's back there. We need a lot more, but those are the big items that are easy for people to purchase. So hopefully we can get some of those purchased in time. And also, if you've signed up to be a helper, Amber will be here after church to help you get your credentials and everything for that. So um, that's all I need. But I really need people to, you know, we have um, we have signs up. We've taken posters to different establishments. Um, it's been on Facebook. We're sharing it. But we need to just invite people. Yeah. Like I have neighbors and I've walked over and invited them and told them that what we're doing and who we're helping and um, that the zoo's coming to the Edco Park on Thursday, which will be a fun thing for the kids. And then they can swim for free. If they've come to Bible school, they can swim for free. So it's going to be, plus we're going to be taking food to all the different nonprofits and people in the community. So it is going to be a lot of fun, but we need the kids right now. There were nine registered, and Donna Saylor's going to register one more, so that means we have ten. And we just need a few more, okay? So if you know anyone, just, just invite them. Sometimes just a personal invitation goes a long way. Thanks. Okay. Any other announcements? Donna. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Okay, others can't hear, but it's okay. <laughs> Okay, any other announcements? <laughs> I seem to get it. Okay. Yes, yes. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, we don't, I mean, we know that a lot of kids from other churches don't register, they just show up, but we'd like to get as many registered as possible. They're sharing it as well. I mean, Westminster has it on their Facebook page, on their Instagram. They have the sign out. St. Peter's, yes. It's they're, just that the more we know ahead of time, then we can prepare. I mean, we're going to be serving the meals. I don't want to, the first night, think we're only having 30 and we get 60. You know, that's going to, we're going to be cutting those pieces of pizza pretty tiny. Okay. So we just, you know, that, it's just helpful. It's and just it's helpful. also good evangelism. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yes, all three, all three of our churches, and they're all bringing stuff too. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? I believe we have a birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday, Diane. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. I was deleting emails off the church uh, emails on Wednesday, and I came across this prayer. It's actually a poem, but it's a prayer to make space for the divine. And I thought it was really nice. As it is possible to walk through a field without seeing the grass, so it is possible to walk through life without seeing the divine. I do not wish to believe in you. What I desire is to experience you, not an idea in a prayer book, but a presence I can touch, not above me, but beside me, opposite me, facing me, surrounding me, inside me, not me, but available to me. Even if you are beyond definition, you are always within reach. Let me make a place for you. Let me be open to your voice. As I venture into scary places, let me sense you alongside me. My prayer is simple. Let your breath become my strength. Let us prepare to worship. peace of God be with you. I invite you to share your sign of God's peace. Peace. And now for those who are able, I invite you to stand and join with us in Jesus is the Rock.
as we worship God, we hear God's challenges. Jesus teaches us, happy are those whose greatest desire is to do what God requires. God will satisfy them fully. We worship God, seeking to be fully satisfied by God's love and guidance. You may be seated. I ask our, invite our young people to come and join with me. So how's everybody this morning? Tired but good. Hot but good. Or cooler in here. So um, I want you to turn around and look up there and see, have you ever had a fulfill bar? You've had protein bars, but not a fulfill bar. Well, fulfill bars are very special protein bars. They're not just any protein bars. They fulfill your life. So what does that mean if something fulfills you, like makes you happy? So what this week has fulfilled you? Your first paycheck. That is fulfilling. <laughs> Did you frame it? No. No, you, you I didn't get a check. It just went right in. It went right into the bank. Yeah. So what else? Anything else that was fulfilling? Yeah. You. Yeah. Getting picked up from camp. Getting picked up from camp. It's always good to know that nobody's going to leave you leave you stranded. Brian came back from injury and he can swim again. All right. That's fulfilling. Knowing that somebody got is getting better. What is something that fulfilled you this week? Hanging out with, Hanging out with your friends. Yeah. Anything? Um, hanging out with my family. Hanging out with your family. What about you, Piper? You're not sure. Sometimes, you know, we're not sure. We're having, you know, sometimes we have those kind of eh weeks and nothing seems to really... I don't know, make us happy or satisfy us or just fulfill us. Well, there are things in life that we do because they fulfill us, we find them satisfying. Like, there are women in our community that meet and they find quilting very fulfilling and satisfying. So that's what they come every other, what, second and second and fourth Tuesdays and that's what they enjoy. So think about the things in your life that you do that bring you satisfaction or fulfill you. And so we are thankful for these. And where are the quilts going this time? Right, so Robin's place. Yeah. So these quilts are going to help some women who have had some difficulties and if they have family or children. So, you know, sometimes quilts can be very fulfilling and satisfying, especially on a really cold night, right? You pull your quilt around you or your blanket around you and just snuggle up to it and you feel very happy and satisfied. So we are thankful for this. So we are going to um, say a blessing for these and I'd like you to go and stand next to your, which one you like the best. All right. All right. And so I want you to just put your hands like me over the quilts, and we're going to say a blessing now. God, we ask your blessing upon these quilts for those who have made them. We say thank you for those who will receive them. We ask your blessings upon them. May these quilts bring much happiness to others. Amen. All right, you guys. Now, uh, one other thing before um, we, uh, we're going to learn more about satisfaction um, during uh, worship, but 
as, as we look up here, does anybody see anything just like wrong? That's all right, right? What's the right thing? Chocolate. Nothing wrong? Good. You may have a piece of chocolate since you found nothing wrong. <laughs> Take the wrappers off carefully and give them to Miss Nancy. The front part, yes. You could tear off the back part. Right, since they didn't see anything wrong, we won't talk about the thing that's wrong. <clears throat> It'll be fixed by next week. I invite you all now to stand and join with me in our prayer of confession. Let us pray. Jesus, you show us how to be satisfied with all God's blessings, but we want more. Instead of being satisfied with our lives, we look for things that we believe can make us happier. We ask forgiveness and peace. Amen. Jesus fills us with forgiveness that can satisfy our souls. We are happy because we are forgiven. We are satisfied because Jesus fills us with his love. You may be seated. Hey, this day that we pray will maybe bring some cooler weather. We pray for all of those who have been out in the heat and will continue to be out in the heat working. Those who live in places that are very hot. As we think about the many storms that had caused electric to be out, storms that caused flooding and yet other places are in drought. We pray for all of the needs of those around us and in our country and around the world. For we know that they are great. There are people who are struggling each day just to have enough food or water to sustain themselves and yet still go to bed hungry. Parents who are unable to feed their children. Places of violence. We pray for the children that are that are out on summer break, that they might have a great time, but also a safe time, especially for those who are in unsafe environments. We thank you, God, for the joys of our lives, for all of those wonderful things that make us happy and satisfy us. We thank you for the joy and satisfaction that we find in knowing you. We pray for those who are seeking something more in life. Help us to be able to share our faith, to invite others to come to worship. Help us to be your church. Lead us, guide us, and give us your vision. We pray for those who are sick, those who are coming home from the hospital or who have come home from the hospital. We pray for their continued healing. We pray for those with cancer and those with long-term illnesses, those who have lost loved ones and who are mourning. We just pray for your comfort. We pray for each one today, for you know our needs. We pray for our mission trip this week, for the children that we will be helping and others that we will help. And we know that God, that we are blessed as much as we bless others, so we thank you for those blessings. We pray for the other youth group that will be with us and each one that will be helping. And for the continued outreach at Washington UCC. God, we thank you for all of your creation, for your beauty, for one another and for all that sustains us. For Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. summer worship theme, God's Chocolate World. So um, think about what your favorite Hershey snack is. So and I'm going to read the list of all of the products that Hershey's now owns and produces in places around. And as I read the list, I invite you, if it's one of your favorites, just, just put your hand up a little bit. Fifth Avenue, Almond Joy, Bark Fins, Breath Savers, Brookside Chocolate, Bubble Yum, Cadberries, Dots Homestyle Pretzels. All right, some more than I expected. Fulfill. Those wonderful, satisfying protein bars. Good and plenty. All right. uh, Heath. Hershey bar. And we know there's all kinds of those, dark and white and all kind. Um, Hershey kisses and all kinds of those too. Honest. Icebreakers. Jolly Ranchers, Kit Kat, Lilies, Milk Duds, Mounds, Mr. Good Bar, One Brands, Payday, Pirate's Booty, Reese's, and all kinds of Reese's. Rolos, Skinny Pop Popcorn, Score, Symphony, Twizzlers, Whatchamacallits, Whoppers, York Peppermint Patties, Zagnut, and Zeros which, by the way, I tried for the first time like last week, and it's actually a pretty good. Not my favorite, but it was pretty good. So the Rolling Stones sang, 
Yes, I can't get no satisfaction, but I try, I try, I try. And I would say, so try some Hershey's, right? <laughs> Chocolatebrands.org says, why Hershey bars are the best? It says, when, they, when it comes down to chocolate, Hershey's has always been committed to delivering the best. Skilled chocolatiers work their magic, crafting each bar with precision and care. The result is a chocolate bar that is not only delicious, but is also consistent in quality, ensuring that every bite is as satisfying as the last. You can't get any better than that, right? People all over the world find satisfaction in chocolate. And in Hershey's chocolate. As a society, we seek satisfaction and happiness. We seek things around us that satisfy us. So what does God say? We're going to read our first scripture in Isaiah 55, verse 1 and 2, and I'll start with verse 1. The Lord says, Come, everyone who is thirsty, here is water. Come, buy wine and milk. It'll cost you nothing. Why spend money on what does not satisfy? Why spend your wages and still be hungry? We are hungry and thing and thirsty for things that will satisfy us. And God asks. Why are you spending our money, your money on things that really won't satisfy? God invites us to be spiritually satisfied, a meaningful relationship with God. God in, offers us unconditional love and understanding, meaning in a life that satisfies. And yet people look around for things, things and stuff and experiences that will satisfy. Brian Galindo of BuzzFeed shares that sometimes you just have to treat yourself to a, a latte at Starbucks or just to make your day better. He wrote, recently I've been writing a lot about people wanting to save money and cutting back on things that they feel are getting way too expensive. You know those things that really satisfy you, but you say, wait a minute, they're becoming way too much, too much money, so I'm just going to have to cut back. So he said, but so people have to decide what are the things that are really worth it, that I really need because they really bring satisfaction, and so I'm, war I'm willing to spend the money on these things. Well, here's a few. Vacations, tools, guess everybody has to have lots of tools, um, buying stuff on our wish list, um, tea, Fitness streaming services, fresh flowers, eating out at a nice restaurant, AMC movie plans. Now this one I found a little interesting. Grass-fed butter. Well, obviously the butter isn't grass-fed. It's obviously the cows that are fed grass, but grass-fed butter. I've never tried it, so Perhaps it's worth the money, it, it, you know. Um, well, I probably tried it growing up because we got the milk from the cows and every once in a while my mom would just throw it in the blender for the fun of it, I guess. Anyways, <clears throat> daily coffee from my favorite cafe. Subscriptions to Spotify, Audible, and the New York Times. Clothes, good quality skincare products and streaming services. And I have to ask, where is the chocolate on their list? What are the things, think about the things that are on your list that really satisfy you, that you really are willing to spend money on because it just makes you feel good or makes you happy. So we're going to read a few more scriptures of what God says about satisfaction. The first one is Jeremiah 31:14. Let us read it together. I will fill the priest 
with the richest food and satisfy all the needs of my people. I, the Lord, have spoken. And Job 18, 4. You are only hurting yourself with your anger. Will God move mountains to satisfy you? So will getting our own way satisfy us? Well, we like to think so, don't we? Will revenge satisfy us? Will throwing a temper tantrum satisfy us? God desires good things for us. God wants us to find satisfaction in living and, and to live satisfying lives. Knowing God, loving God, following God can lead us to satisfaction and, um, and fully and fulfilling lives. Our last scripture is Matthew 5, um, 6. Let us read it together. Happy are those whose greatest desire is to do what God requires. God will satisfy them fully. So that made me think about the Fulfill protein bar. It started with a simple question. Why can't the snacks we love be both nutritious and insanely delicious? Now, I have to say, I've not eaten a Fulfill bar, but now I really want to try one to see if it's really insanely delicious. They are bursting, it says, with indulgent flavors. You can just feel that satisfaction oozing out of it, right? And we don't even have to taste it. Each bar contains 15 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, eight vitamins, and three grams or less of net carbs. I mean, how can you go wrong with a fulfill bar? It certainly will fulfill everything in your life. It says, whether you're crushing an all-day job with j the gym in between, or whether you're on a weekend round, you know, road trip with your friends, or whether you're climbing mountains or getting your side hustle going, finishing a 10K strong, or braving your first skydive, Fulfill is here to fuel you along the way. And because they taste good too, you can even enjoy them with your cup of coffee while you're sitting on your sofa. Now, how is that for advertising? That yeah, makes me feel satisfaction of not even eating it. We seek God. We live God's love. We strive to grow in our faith. And God as our scripture says, will satisfy us fully. When we're dreaming God's dream, when we're exercising and working out, when we're having fun on, on things with our family and friends, when we're climbing mountains or even just looking at mountains, God is here to fuel us and fulfill us along our way. York Peppermint Patties it was invented 1940. Henry Kessler, owner of the York Cone Company in York, Pennsylvania. That's how they got their name, York. And the peppermint, because they're peppermint, and they're a little patty. So it's just a very original name, actually. He began experimenting with all different kind of candy fillings in the chocolate. And um, he came up with the idea of the peppermint patty. So he wanted to create a candy that would be not only satisfying, but refreshing. And so from the selection of the ingredients to the final packaging, every step of a York peppermint patty is created to be a satisfying candy that customers will just love. York peppermint patties has been um, known for its memorable advertising slogan, get the sensation. And it shows people um, taking a bite of the candy and experiencing this cool, refreshing, satisfying candy. A refreshing sat sensation. So we look, whoops, we look for cool, refreshing sensation in our lives. As good as chocolate satisfy, as good as chocolate is, it satisfies for a short time and then 
Yes, we want more. And more. It reminds us that sometimes the things we seek in the world, in our lives, are satisfying but for a short time. But God gives us satisfaction for the long haul. As we grow deeper in our relationship with God, our satisfaction in life, in God, grows deeper as well. So as you think about your faith and how it has been satisfying or has helped you to find satisfaction in your life, um, God, um, Rich is going to share a story about God's chocolate world. I helped her with gods and chocolate. She said I could do the rest myself. <laughs> Jesus was walking down Fifth Avenue on his way to Lily's Diner. He met Mr. Goodbar. Jesus asked, how are you doing? Mr. Goodbar replied, I should be happy because it's payday, but I'm not. My check is already gone. I spent money that I didn't have on stuff that I thought would bring me satisfaction. Now I'm still not satisfied and I'm broke. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Let's stop here at Dot's Homestyle Pretzels. They're good and plenty and fulfill. They shared a pretzel and talked. Mr. Goodbar left satisfied he was filled with the bread of life. Jesus then went into Lily's diner. He saw Skinny Pop. Jesus asked him how he was doing. Skinny Pop said, well, I just got my music score for my part in the symphony. I used to get so excited when I got new music. Now I look at the score and feel all blah and twizzled. Playing my instrument doesn't give me satisfaction anymore. I guess I should just give it up. Jesus sat down. He ordered a sweet tea. Then he said, have you listened to the birds lately? They sing to praise God. Maybe you're just playing the music without allowing God's spirit to move through the notes and the score. Skinny Pop sat back and smiled. I hear what you're saying, Jesus. I guess I've just been going through the motions. Music used to be spiritual to me. On my way to practice tonight, I'm going to listen to the birds and the music of God's creation. Thanks, Jesus. Jesus finished his sweet tea and walked out to the countryside. As he came down the road, he saw Jolly Rancher. Jesus called out, hey, Jolly Rancher. How are you doing? Jolly Rancher frowned and said, Well, to be honest with you, Jesus, I'm feeling like a zagnut. Everything I've done lately hasn't worked out. I'm feeling very depressed. Ranching used to bring me such great satisfaction, but now I feel zero percent satisfied. Jesus said, I'm sorry to hear that. <coughs> Look over there at your donkeys, Hershey and Hershey Kisses. They are dancing around, enjoying the fields and countryside. All creation is praising God. Maybe you should join them in dancing. Jolly Rancher thought about it and said, yes, maybe a little dancing will lift my spirits and help me feel better. Maybe I won't feel like a zag nut. I'll feel like some other kind of a nut. While good dancing, with, the, with a little dancing in my feet, I'll be as satisfied as my donkeys. Jesus walked on. He saw Heath standing by the brookside. Jesus called out to him, how are you doing, Heath? Heath replied, this morning I woke up feeling mounds of depression. I couldn't find my whatchamacallit. Besides, my cow, Reese's milk, was a dud. 
I got very little, and it tasted like bubble yuck, not bubble yum. I spilled my last bit of iced tea in the ice cubes full of flu all over. My dog, Cadbury, started jumping up and down like an icebreaker. He was excited and yapping. It looked like he could hardly take in a breath saver, and his bark was thin. Kit, my cat, was rolling down the hill, getting all muddy and meowing like he was filled with almond joy. Then I came down to the brookside, and I see not just one brand of fish, but lots of brands rising and swimming all around. I'll tell you what, Jesus, this hasn't been no whopper that I've been telling you this. This day started out pretty bad. Then my dog Cadbury, Kit Kat, and all these fishes brightened my day. God's spirit has changed my mounds of depression into a mound of joy. I'm so satisfied and happy now that I feel like I found a pirate's booty. Thank you. God invites us to come with our thirsts and our desires. God's water will satisfy. This summer, let's all ex experience the cool, refreshing, satisfying sensation of God's presence and love in our lives. Amen. music uh, today uh, we decided Wednesday night nobody was signed up so the praise team chose blessed be your name so we invite you to sing along with us
invite you now to stand and join with me in our prayer of dedication. Let us pray. Holy God, with gratefulness, we offer and dedicate these gifts for the continuation of our work. In Christ's name, amen. in God's love, in Jesus' guidance, in the Holy Spirit's peace. Amen.